Hi, I'm Michael Beer, and this is my unfitness monitor. This is basically the guts of a hypothetical smartwatch. Uh, the parts we have here are the Silicon Labs Leopard Gecko, which has an ARM Cortex M3, and an Atmel Sam B11, which has an ARM Cortex M0, and a Bluetooth BLE engine. This is basically the server for the Bluetooth, and this is the client over here. This is an Android app that's able to read services from the Bluetooth BLE over here. And uh, for this fitness app, I have two services, a light service, and a heart rate service. The light service is going to tell you how much ambient light you get on average. So right now it says 93 and there's a light sensor over here and if you cover it up it's going to drop down. When it gets below a certain threshold it will alert you um, that you haven't got enough light. So while that's dropping, I'm going to show you this over here. This is a homemade pulse sensor and the yellow pads here are a capacitive touch sensor which is hooked up to the LE Sense part of the analog comparator on the Leopard Gecko. When you touch this, you see the little antenna light up over there. What that does is basically turns on the infrared um, sensor and emitter here. Oh, we see that this is popped over here. The value for the light sensor got below 20, and we have an alert saying you got to move, you got to get more light. And so, if we unblock the light sensor, that'll come above 20. It will stop notifying us about that. So the pulse sensor here, when activated. Uh, it saves energy because when you're not touching this, these aren't on. Um, shows this little ring, and this ring basically shows you how wide the pulse is. Each segment of this ring is worth 5 64ths of a second. So it's to get rid of transient pulses that aren't real. And you can see it's taken my pulse here. And when this little ring indicates that it's thinks it's a real pulse. And um, there's some algorithms like making sure that the previous one is with not more than 20 beats per minute than the next one to sort of average because you can see if you just turn it on and then wave your hand over it you can get some abnormally high pulses and like but it blocks a lot of the, the transients because the width isn't long enough and you can see over here the pulse rate will be transmitted via, via Bluetooth and once it starts up and appear on your phone so which is pretty cool and uh, this is averaged as well, uh, and I agree to that. That's why it's not the exact same number. It's to make it uh, appear smoother because this still jumps around, needs some adjustments. Um, some other things here, you'll see these lights here have come on. That is a warning that you haven't moved around enough. So there's an accelerometer on here that's programmed to, um, if you tap it twice, it'll reset and say, okay, it shuts the lights off. And that starts this timer here, basically, that says you need to move within this long. And, um, it's also got a sensor, if you lift up the edge of the board, it'll wake up the display and turn that on. So we're using the accelerometer for that. Basically this sensor hub here communicates with uh, Atmel part through um, a UART. This is a UART and it sends custom messages to get all the information from the sensors to the Bluetooth component here. And we can also go the other way and control the little buzzer here from the phone through a control point by sending there. Um, Thanks for having a look at my demo.